Hi, my name is Dan Dorfmiller. I'm the author of Print Reading for Construction. I will take a look at material from Unit 4, Lines and Symbols. Lines and symbols are used on drawings to communicate information. In this video, you will learn what lines and symbols represent on drawings. Lines and symbols represent a graphic language. The ability to read prints begins with understanding the types of lines and symbols used on drawings. The different types of lines used on prints make up a system known as the alphabet of lines. Each type of line conveys a specific meaning. The example shown illustrates some of the common lines. A border line serves as the drawing border and is located on the edge of the sheet. A property line represents the extent of the building plot or piece of property. In this example, the property line is located at the edge of the parking garage. An object line is used to show outlines of features. The object lines illustrated here show the edges of interior walls. Hidden lines are used to represent features that are behind other objects and not visible in a given view. For example, a hidden line is used to depict an edge overhead or an edge of a footing below grade. Center lines are used to indicate centers of objects. As shown in this example, center lines are commonly used to represent column lines. Symbols are used to identify specific items on the drawing without writing out all the words. For instance, in this electrical legend, the description two foot by four foot recessed light fixture with lens would be a lot of words to write out every time the designer wanted to indicate this light fixture. So instead, the designer assigns the rectangular symbol to represent the light fixture. This symbol would be found on the reflected ceiling plan in the architectural drawings. Each trade has its own set of standardized symbols for communicating specific information. Note that topographical symbols here uses the dashed line to indicate an existing contour line. So become familiar with the symbols for each specific trade or type of drawing. Graphic symbols are commonly used to represent building materials on drawings. Symbols used for this purpose are referred to as material rendering symbols, hatching or poche. Note that symbols used to represent materials such as concrete block, brick, and dimensional lumber. Also note that some materials appear differently depending on whether they are shown in plan, section, or elevation. In most cases, a legend identifying materials and symbols will be available on the drawings. Material and symbol legends are typically found on the title page in a set of prints. Thank you. Please visit my website for additional videos on print reading for construction at www.printreading.us.